tibial internal rotation versus the femur. So you need to start with an established foot tripod. Your big toe is your biggest root and needs to stay on the ground. Core on, long waist. I don't want you to drop into an anterior pelvic tilt. And when we bring the knee out, that is relative femoral external rotation, which gets you into tibial IR. And this is what we need to upright the lower extremity and get it out of this pattern where we keep macerating our knees. You can also do this for the trail leg. So this is, for example, those people that go into egg beaters when they're running. I need you to keep that trail leg upright, which means glutes on, femoral external rotation, tibial internal rotation. Regressed version is just in a squat, but again, I want big toes rooting into the ground. We want maximum knees out, which is femoral external rotation. I need to make sure your core is on, you haven't dropped into anterior pelvic tilt because we need these guys to turn on. A regressed basic position is the modified wall clamp. You can use a band or not but you are driving your top leg into the wall like you're stepping on a stair, trying to activate here. I want, again, a long waist and core on. You're gonna come up as high as you can without rolling back, and then slowly trying to control it on the way down, but keep rooting into the wall, press, press, press. Come up, and then the down face, that eccentric, so important. Drive into the wall, drive into the wall, drive into the wall. When you're coming out into external rotation, again, big toe stays on the wall. That's that relative internal rotation of the tibia to the femur. And they slow control as you're driving into the wall. 